Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'll be talking about the devastating earthquake in Haiti. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right. Okay, as I've said, I'll be talking about the devastating earthquake in 80. I want to speak briefly to you about 80. On the 30th of December 2020, I heard 80 being mentioned in the spiritual realm, but I didn't hear anything further. Then on the, the 11th of July 21, I was in my bathroom again when I heard Porter Prince being mentioned, and I thought to myself, that's in 80, that's 80. I knew when I heard, you know, the name being called. I knew that something was about to happen. Something devastating was about to take place. Because as I've said before, when the Lord is calling the name of a place, a person or a thing, I know that something is about to happen because the Lord is, you know, it doesn't speak about it unless it's something serious is about to happen. And we've seen that many times. And so I knew when the Lord, you know, I heard the name being mentioned or when the, the Lord allowed me to hear in the spiritual realm, I know it's something seriously is about to happen. Also on the 30th of July, 21, I heard someone in the spiritual realm saying, it seemed like an earthquake, but I wasn't sure where this earthquake would take place, but they were saying it seemed as if an earthquake, you know, has taken place. I did prophecies where I spoke about, you know, countries in the Caribbean. And I even spoke about having a vision where I saw where it zoomed in to the whole of the Caribbean. I spoke about that. It zoomed into the whole of the Caribbean, you know, and I knew that disasters were coming. I prophesied about some of the countries of the Caribbean. And when, you know, the Lord zoomed in and shown me in the vision, the whole of the Caribbean, I know some form of disaster, something is about to happen there because the Lord spoken about, you know, the, the people of these countries, you know, they are carnal minded, he said. He spoke and said that they were carnal minded and, you know, they were living in their sins and their ways were not pleasing unto God. And so, you know, he said that these things would happen and many other prophets, I believe, prophesied about the things that would take place in the Caribbean. And so I'm not surprised, but I'm still praying for the people. So, you know, I'm praying for the people who are still alive. You know, I'm praying for them who are still alive and remain that they will see this as a wake up call. I'm praying that they will see this as a wake up call and turn to the Lord, turn to him, you know, so that they do not die in their sins. Turn to him before they die in their sins. And so, you know, as we pray for these people, we pray that they will repent. You know, I pray that they will repent because this is why the Lord is sending destruction and it will affect all over the world. It won't affect one country as we can see 
many things, fires, earthquake, hurricane, everything's happening at the same time all over the earth. And as I've said before, the angel told me that they are not finished. There is still more to come. And so we will still see more things happening. And so I pray, I've I've seen, you know, the news. I've watched it, I should say, on this news app. And I saw what happened in Haiti. And it is truly devastating. It is truly devastating. My heart bleeds for them, but I pray that those who remain, that they will take it as a wake-up call and turn to the Lord, turn from their sins, because this is what, you know, the why the Lord is sending all these instructions, because he's crying out for the people to turn away from their sins. It's, he said it will be like Sodom and Gomorrah, and we know from Scripture when we read in the Scripture what took place there. And so the Lord is not happy at this time, but it is not his will that anyone should die in their sins. It is not his will that anyone should die. The Lord hates when he has to send disasters and destruction on his children. But, you know, he wants to get us to move. He wants us to get us to turn from the things of the world and to seek him. And so this is why we are seeing these things are happening. And because the times that we are living in, he said we are living in the book of Revelation. We are living in the time of Revelation where prophecies are being fulfilled. And so I continue to pray that the people of Haiti will recover from this devastating earthquake and that they will get the, the aid and the help that they need, you know, in these difficult times and that they will look to the Lord again. Okay, these are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you today to turn to the Lord, to seek him today before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? And so I want to encourage you to turn to the Lord, to seek him today before it's too late. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you to turn to the Lord again, to seek him now before it's too late for you. As I've said before, tomorrow is not promised to any man and you could die in your sins. Any one of us could die in our sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you today to seek the Lord again before it's too late for you. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of the world and the things of God. I want to encourage you today to turn away from the things of the world and to seek the Lord before it's too late. Tomorrow is not promised to you, as I've said, and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you to turn away from the things of the world. You know, let your light so shine the word of the Lord said that all men will see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. The world is watching and so let us be that light, let us be that example to the world. These are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.